Hi everyone, today we will talk about dynamic visibility feature. This is one of the most common features available in almost all components in Excelsior dashboard designer. Just to, before we start, I will demonstrate uh, how these features work and then we will go step by step how to implement and configure this feature. Now, I have here this radio button and I have two options to select, one is pie chart and one is par chart. If I by default is selected pie chart and here it displays the par uh, pie chart for sales by region. If I select par chart, it will display the sales by region but in the par chart format. Actually just two components on top of each other and on the runtime when I select from the radio button here one a chart type it will hide one and display the another. This is what we call the dynamic visibility. It will show and uh, hide the component on the runtime based on a specific condition. Let's just start doing it together. I will remove all this object and we will do it from scratch. Here I will start by dragging a pie chart component and then I will start by giving it a title which is sales by region. I will remove the subtitle here and after that I will go to the data values and I will bind my values to the sales information here that I have in my Excel data model. After that I will go to labels and assign my labels to my figures and that's it. This is our pie chart. Then I need to create another chart which is par chart, I will go to components, charts, and I will navigate to par chart or column charts. I will try to put it on top of the pie chart exactly and I will make my best to be same size and same, uh, same size. Okay, then I will start by giving the name for my par chart, the same name, sales by region. I will remove subtitle from here and for the data here I can take it by range and I can do it on one step instead of selecting data uh, sales alone sales uh, measure alone and uh, and the region alone here by one uh, st click I will do it then I will assign a name for category X in our case here is region I will display region under category X. It will show here region under the regions, and I want to assign on the Y X, uh, Y axis the sales uh, sales uh, value. Here I will go to value Y axis uh, title, and I will select sales. It will display sales here. Now I have two charts exactly on top of each other. If I go to this uh, uh, object browser, I can hide and show. Sorry, I will delete this. This is an extra column chart here. Just I have one pie chart and one column chart. On the design or development time, if I want to switch to anyone, I can use the object browser and use here the eye or hide option. If I want to hide this and start developing or start accessing the, the for purchase for the pie chart or I can do it from here to hide the pie chart and access the pie chart from here. Also one more thing, if I want to make sure that they are exactly the same size I can select here make same size option and I can uh, align them on top so the, the, the two components have exactly the same size and they are aligned on top so they are exactly on top of each other. The last thing here I need to add a selector here we have many selectors and I can do it like a drop down menu, a checkbox or whatever or a tab here I prefer to uh, use a radio button I will add radio button here Okay, and uh, you can notice that the radio button component added also to my object browser. After that I will select my labels. I already put my labels here by chart and par chart this range. 
So it, uh, by default, as you notice, by default it's uh, display level one, level two, le level three. It will reduce the number of displayed labels as per the assigned labels here. Here I have two labels. It will assign here pie chart and pie chart two labels. I will go uh, as you can also no, uh, notice that no one is selected by default. I will s make the first label is selected by default. I will go to behavior, common, and selected item. I will select label one is by default will be selected. After that, I need to insert <coughs> the value that selected from the pie chart in the cell. I will go to insertion type here from general tab. I will ask this feature to insert label which will be pie chart or pie chart and the destination will be this yellow shell under the my labels now one last thing I need to configure my two pie chart and the, the dynamic visibility for my two charts I will select first my pie chart I will select my pie chart I will go to behavior and for the dynamic visibility I have two uh, attributes to configure the status one I need to map it to the uh, dynamic cell in my case this cell the yellow one because this will change on the runtime and the key one that I will tell when shall I display myself or when shall I show this is by chart and I should uh, display it when my value is equal to by chart. Uh, here I will select this value. So basically what will happen here it will compare the status uh, cell with the key cell and when they, when they are matching it will display the component otherwise it will be hidden by default. So I compare this one which is dynamic and I am waiting to find the by chart value here to display my by chart. Then I need to do the same with my column chart. I will select my column chart or my by chart, go to behavior, go to my uh, common tab, go to dynamic visibility options, select status will be the same dynamic cell which is the yellow one here but at this time with the value that I'm waiting to show myself is by chart, bar chart. I'll click OK and let's try this together. Preview and here is displayed by default sales by region. When I select bar chart it will display the sales by region in the bar chart or column chart format. Thanks for watching and goodbye.